We've turned the power off and you'll see why in a second. We've taken over the job for a customer, uh, other end of the side of staff from me has had a builder in to start converting their garage into what is gonna be an office, which is sound. Start doing zone electrics, so we're gonna be messing around with all the stuff that's been run in, put in, spliced in and whatnot. The view some where he goes, some of the oversized where he goes, which is the six mil. But they started to say they will put a new fuse board in. Uh, this has been left like this for a month with two young kids in the house, like this. Starting to get a bit shaky. I am starting to get a bit shaky. So I'll pop up here, uh, missing the lid. We've got, it's off, it's isolated there and there. The lid's over here somewhere, nothing labeled up. So that's the way the mess was left and uh, the builder then was spoken to about the electrics and has then cleared off site and refused to answer the phone. So this has now been left to other people, including myself and other tradesmen and businessmen and builders. So we've got a Verso board, it's a 20-way SPD. The customer at some point is gonna want some, so sorry, I'll stand still, some solar PV, which is the same thing. Uh, battery storage, so we're going to leave plenty of ways in the board like we're trying to do now. Every board we fit needs to be bigger. So we're going to try and sort this mess out. We're going to be testing stuff. We're going to be able to figure out what is going to what. Why is that pulled off? Do you know what I mean? So we're going to start testing and we're going to run through why and how we're doing it. We've done fuse boards before, but we can go into a little bit more depth as well. So we're going to grab the tester out in the new testing bag that it's testing out and figure out what's what. Adam's put together. Adam, show me the very cool thing you just saw with the new board for the oh, Verso. Yeah. Uh, that way. So it comes with a QR code to place under the lid if AFDDs are installed. I presume that's just so instructions. Are to it. Yeah, so it'll be all the different lights, the flashing lights to figure out what's what. Very cool from Verso. So let me get the tester out. I'm going to strip this board back a little bit. We've got an armor cable going down, so we need to find out where that all goes around and down. So the customer said that's for a pump or something in the garden. Maybe a a pump. pump. Yeah, pump. There is pump. a pump. There is a pump there, but that was on when we turned up and that's unwired so we're going to figure this out so bear with so first step took the tails out <laughs> how much was in the isolator i've just snipped them off and pulled them out like much easier start with the main tails now i can work on this i know there's no way in the world this is going to become live so now we've got these cables you know with me i've got a big box in the unit that we put them in we scrap it once a year tat run make a video we strip it down we turn it to ingots loads of stuff you've seen me mess around because i do youtube i've got the time and the allowance to do that but normal sparks like I used to be, who just go to work, they get the cable, you keep it in a bag, you chuck it away, let me know what you do. But I've linked it with a company called Green Cable, which you might have seen a few things on Instagram, and in the back of the video in the unit is a green wheelie bin. So they have sponsored me for the next couple of months, and they've dropped me a bin off. So the whole business and the whole way it works is, they come to you, they drop you off a wheelie bin. It used to be free, but they now have to charge you, I think it's around 20 pound for delivery, but that doesn't come out of your pocket. So you don't pay them. They just deduct that from the first sort of way in. So what it does, you go online. I'll put the link down below for it. I think it's massive. It's Midlands area at the moment. Get yourself a wheelie bin, keep it hidden. Obviously you don't want it outside the front of your house. Uh, you put your cable in it. Once it's full, you let them know, they'll do the rounds. They come pick the bin up, they weigh it all, they give you the money there and then. It's not cash, it's internet bank uh, transfer like it is for every scrapyard you should go to by law. Uh, they give you a bin back and that's the way it works. So you get a wheelie bin, you fill it up, you ring them up, it empties it. You can get one or two bins depending on how many you have. So I've got it in the unit, I'm giving it a trial at the moment. I'm gonna, it's nearly full anyway, so we can wait in. I can show you guys on the video how it actually works. I'll put the link down below. If you're interested, there's a waiting list for people because they're expanding across the whole of the UK. But if you're in the Midlands, 20 quid, which doesn't come out of your pocket, comes off the first weigh-in, check it out. And if you get one, please let me know how you get on because I'm really, really interested. I think it's a great, great business idea that can save people a lot of time because a lot of electricians leave cables in or chuck it away because they can't be asked with the hassle of it. But this way, you're making money from just doing your job and it's a little bit extra on the side. So go and check out a link below. Cooker, taking them out one by one, figuring out what it is, quite simple. There's a, that one's office sockets, that one literally just goes up and down. So I've labeled that office sockets, goes onto these. We're obviously gonna check all this wiring, but it doesn't look too, it's all visible. So I'm happy to figure this out and just do an IR test and that sort of stuff. But, 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 I'm not saying at all in this circumstance, at all because the customer will watch this and they will probably completely agree because I'm going to have a chat with them in a minute. But when you get told stories like this, you're like, God, that's awful and whatnot, but you just take it as face value. But sometimes with different people or customers, and I've had it loads of times in the past, you can't take everything they say for truth because right behind me, it's a big drum of two five. 
but it's old colours. That's what I'm saying is we do get this where, oh, like we had, I did a short yesterday. The plaster swore blind, never touched any, the, the, the lights start tripping, but it's since he's been, uh, he did plaster the dining room ceiling. And if you'd have seen the short, it worked when we went, when we changed the board over, we came back uh, and the customer said, oh, can you just fix this light? It's tripped ever since uh, you were here last. And we were like, well, it was working and it was tested, so everything should have been fine. And then we took the pendant down and the plaster had dropped the pendant down completely, plastered it, put the pendant back up and put the neutral in the earth and the earth in the neutral. So you obviously have moved it, you obviously have lied. And I've had a guy this morning, I'll put the script on the screen now, something along the lines of how can we trust you as a good tradesman or something? I know what you do is slag off other people. I slag myself off. I make mistakes. I tell you guys all the time. That's not an issue. And it's not like I actively go out to slag people off. It's I obviously come across it and I have a camera so I can record it for you guys. So you'll hear it from my mouth a lot more than other people because they won't film it, they won't put it on Instagram, they won't put it on YouTube because they either don't have that sort of uh, social media presence or they just don't care to tell anyone. They just go, it is what it is. But for me guys showing you on camera about all the stuff we come across and we see day to day, it's better for me to tell you about what we've seen and what's wrong with it and how we can fix it than just go, they're an idiot. Stupid idiot, I'm not doing that anymore, whatever. Be about it. It's better for me to show you what's wrong and why it's wrong and how we can fix it than rather just moan about it, if that makes sense. So I agree with the comment. We have turned into a slagging off match with other trades. That's what happens. Same thing, they'll say the same things to me, but you just don't see their side of it. So it's just a it's bit just one side. Banter, it's it? just it's side yeah. banter, but at the same point, it's like the stuff that we have to deal with that now costs me more money because I have to then fix stuff that other people have done on our own jobs initially. Or like yesterday, fixing the light fin. It looked, literally took me longer to film it a short than it did to fix it. But it was worth showing off to you guys of this is the stuff we come through day to day. So I hope that comment I don't, hasn't come across in a, in a crappy way. Not at all. I haven't taken it in that way. But I just replied of, <laughs> I take the mick out myself. So it balances it out from taking the mick out of other people. Hope that helps. We are getting somewhere with the board. We've been heavily distracted, which I've not told you lot yet. You might have seen it on Instagram. Adam's, uh, what is Dan? Assessor. Is your assessor? Oh, I like mine. Just been around and dropped Adam's certificates off for his level three and everything for his apprenticeship. And as of yesterday, this young man got an email and I did it at the same time and I panicked because I didn't know what the email, well, I didn't know what it was. But Adam has passed his AM2S and got a distinction as well. So nice. Right, so today is actually Adam's last day. Yeah. So it was nice seeing you, mate. Congratulations, well done. And I'll see you around Stafford I in the wholesalers. What did Ryan said last night. What, did, what who? Ryan, David. What Sorry. did Ryan Davis say? Is that payday tomorrow? <laughs> I'll have to start making some more videos about the looks of it. So we've got all the new stuff and some old stuff. We've got tested the ring across that bit. Uh, that was down lights up there. Uh, I'm not enamored with all this. It's the older cable, this is the problem, but I, and it looks like it as well, the singles for upstairs lights. So customer said downstairs lights have been rewired in the past, which would make sense why this is this one. So I've written down light on that. But upstairs lights weren't, so there's no worth by the looks of it in the board. So we're gonna have to double check. And at some point, I'm obviously gonna to say to me, you need to have a light and rewire upstairs, but make sure we've got some class two fittings. If you don't know what that means, it means uh, there's no, it's a plastic fitting where there's no, uh, under fault conditions, the exterior of the fitting cannot become live and dangerous. So if you've got metal light fin, let's say, and the live popped out and touched the, uh, the surround, the, the fitting itself, that would become live. It wouldn't trip under fault conditions because there's no earth to come back and trip and go, oh my God, and blow or trip or whatever you want to call it. Very scientific and technological. <sighs> Don't know how you pass your AM2 sometimes out with me as a teacher. I know what it is. I'm just, I struggle to verbalize things. It's just diarrhea. So we're going to double check that. I'm going to pull the rest of the board off. Adam has done a fantastic job of prepping it. We're doing rear entry. He's done the glands, he's done everything in place. So if you're an apprentice while your boss is doing things like this, testing it, figuring out what's what, there's nothing for you to do. Like Adam said in his videos, just keep yourself busy, figure out what needs going on. You know, that's- Just do this, just do a bit of that, and then just do a bit of this, and put it away. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Definitely not getting pay rise now. So uh, yeah, let me get this off, and then I'll, we'll run through a bit more. I got the other one, so the, the other batteries attached to it, so the little zippable bag. A um, few other things. <laughs> Fair enough. We're just going to find continuity between if there's, these are any rings. We've got three radials coming down here, which are two five, but they look like four mil. Uh, oh, they might be four mil, possibly, because they're stranded, but it's old cables. Uh, we've got two lots of singles, so they're all connected in. I'd presume 
two for upstairs, two for downstairs, but we'll have to verify that with the tester in a minute. Um, if you haven't already, Adam's link to his channel will be in the top pin comment. Go and check it out. If he's not in the top pin comment, it'll be in the description. As of now, we just have a discussion about like, what's next for him. He wants to do his 2391, uh, which we spoke to Dan, uh, his assessor, and they're bringing that into Stafford College what's again. That yeah, it's, it clocks in place. Uh, he's going to be doing his EV. He's going to be buying a, buying a van very soon. He's going to be doing racking. Like, he's going to do a whole video series on about going self-employed and going on his own. He still will be working with me, and I'm always on the end of the phone. Like He's going to be with me three days a week. That's the plan, like I've said, time and time again. But go and show your love and support for Adam. Say well done on this channel, if you can, please. If you haven't already, subscribe. And to me, if you haven't already as well. 100K nearly soon. Cool, bye. We've just verified that this are ring, even though these individual ones were put in two different breakers, they were both on 32 amp breakers individually, even though it's a solid ring, uh, I have put it on here. Uh, 0.35, 0.35, 0.65, and an R1, R2 is 0.21. Um, and then Adam told me about the, on his AM2S as well, they also had to test uh, R1 and RN and the figure of eight as well. And they didn't have to write it down. I was like, all right, I can't say I've ever done that, but that's just me. You've already whatever. Uh, so that's done. We've tested the other ring, which is here as well. This has all been boarded up and painted. I spoke to the customer. I said, it's fine. I was like, I just need something to write on. He's like, yeah, it's around that's fine. It's so all getting painted and covered up. So uh, Adam's run to the van. What we're going to do is snip these back, stick them in a Wager box further back. We're going to bring them through so we've got enough length. Uh, I'm now going to go and test these and figure out and link through upstairs which one's, which one's good, which one's not, whether or not they're both connected or they're not. This is for a pond supply that also runs down for a I presume a garage socket so that's going to go back on the fuse spur was added from the customer's request from the builder to be able to isolate uh, the pond there's a koi cart pond just outside so that's hence why the fuse spur is here before to my knowledge there's no way of isolating it so we're just chipping away that's all it is and like i say adam's prepped he's just gonna get some weight boxes i'm gonna let get him get his hands dirty a minute and i've just got to jump on a phone call so already then i'm actually sponsoring my eldest lad's football team which is wicked. It's the first time I've ever done that, so uh, I had to get him in the team somehow, do you know what I mean? Uh, we're gonna get the board up while Adam just goes upstairs and links out a light, so I can drill that on. He's gonna pass me the board up. We've got level. It does come with a built-in level on the board, but I don't care what brand it is or how good I think they are. <laughs> I'm always gonna use a bigger level. Uh, oh, we need to clean this wall off. Uh, we're gonna step the board out a little bit, do some rear entry. Wait, what? Yep. And, uh, but we've got a bit of copper pipe below us. So for, normally we just use metal plastic conduit, but for this, we're just gonna splice down some, uh, some pipe and use that as uh, fixings. Only by, 10 mil? I mean, that's three inches, isn't it? I thought it was four. <laughs> oh, can you grab us the hammer, mate, please? Huh? One thing with the Versa boards, it comes with this triangle. This triangle is designed, let's say, if you're working by yourself, especially, where you wanna get, you can get a rough fix in there, so you can put a screw in there, hang the board off, allows you then to get the other fixings in. So you can just slot it in, hang it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Keep dropping it and uh, and fix it. Like here, you add them, because Adam's put the tails in, it's completely covered up the hole for the fixings. So we're gonna just drill another hole in there and we'll SDS that once it's in place. Cool. Got the new Velocity uh, drill pod pouch thing. Just everyone know, it's out of stock at the moment. I'm really sorry everyone's shouted at me. It's coming back in stock at the end of July. So if this video is near the end of July, it should be back in stock by now. But yeah, got all the bits, all the all the juicy goods in here. So I think we're gonna go for uh oh, which one should we go for? I'm gonna go for that one. I'm that sad I don't want to get another one scuffed up. I just like the blue colour. <laughs> so we'll go. We have got marked out, we drilled it, we figured out with the trunk in, we've got two lots here. Adam needs to put a 20 mil hole in with this piranha nut for that armored cable, which is coming down for the rear pond. That's what that is. It's like a, oh, good catch. One for the far side. We've got the starret bits here. Like I've said a billion times, how they cut all through metal with the spring, with the chamfered edge, all that sort of stuff. But we need to do it on this 32 mil hole. Yeah, yeah 20, that's 20, that's 25, that's 32. Nice and steady all the way through. I've just had a piece of copper pipe out. We've cut some bits for to step it out from the board, so. Go on, mate, oh, away you go. Uh, Show me how someone that's still got an AM2S and soon to have right, a gold card I'll just, I'll do. I'll put my uh, PPP on. PPP? PPP. 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 Little AM2S boy. <laughs> Adam's got it on. We put some trunking up top, make it nice and neat. Obviously, we've got the, the gland on. I'm trying to reach up there for the uh, thingy. Armour cable. That's the one. 
Uh, I'm going to get the tails in now. I'm going to switch over. I'm going to shout out to Adam how many RCBOs, what type of RCBOs. He's going to make a list, clear all this up, and uh, we'll start getting them in. But like I said, if you're doing boards, it's easier in my eyes. Adam might agree with me, I might not. Put your RCBOs in. Start from left to right, so furthest away. So obviously make sure you count them properly and whatever. Do all the flyaways and then bring the cables in. To me, it's easier and a bit neater. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I think, look, get all your containment off and look. So these ones are too small. So you've got to do six amps in the middle. And here we have fully loaded board up. We've cable tied our uh, neutral fly leads for the 32s, the 6s and the 20s. Comment down below if you've got thinking about cable ties, particularly hearing about it, to be honest. Uh, next thing is we're going to start get, terminating them. So you've seen me all do this before. One by one, bring them in, label it up. We're not going to do the cable flags today, are we, Adam? No. Because uh, there's a lot going in. We've put uh, quite a few spare breakers in, like we've said, for uh, future PV stuff, battery storage, EV charger, potentially. So we filled the board up. We've left a couple of spare ways. Uh, to, well, it's, it should have eventually six spare ways in this board, so, but we've obviously filled it up. We'd rather get them in now so we could do it nice and neat so it's done for the next electrician or us or whatever. We're going to bring them in. We're going to try and fix these back afterwards. We're going to run a bit of CT on either side as well because obviously there's a big cavity behind and there's not a lot to fix to. So we've got some washers in. But once they're in, we're going to get some stuff, gunk it down the side, seal it. And we start pulling them in. We'll just jump back backwards and forwards. But we'll probably start from the right hand side. We're doing 20s, then we're doing 60s, then we're doing 32s. And I'm going to re terminate and gland this armoured off onto there as well. We're flying. That there is the uh, cable that runs down for the office sockets, bits and bobs over here. So I thought I was going to leave it coiled up. I thought, nah, 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 we'll get it done. So as and when it, we want to power up and test it in the future. Is there a done and dusted? We've got all the 20s in. The last 20 I want to put in is this one. So I'm going to gland this off here. It is a four mil, it is a three core, but 20, uh, I would rather put it on a 20 mil than a four mil, uh, than a 32, because the run is to the right far side of the garden. So. Put that protection on there and uh, then we've got a spare 20 we can move over to the sixes then we're using the armor slice uh, we're going to be using my new i actually bought a new one but to put in my new bag so this is the nb200 adam's already thanks for putting everything back mate we're not done with everything i'm done with you now now you've done your am2 <laughs> see ya i'll be back run that in around we've got the shroud Adam's right on here, what's what. We have skipped very far ahead in time. Um, we've just concentrated, as you can all imagine, and all um, hopefully accept my sincere apologies. This is, and I'm gonna say one thing, how much annoyance is, that noise, all day, every day, when I'm doing it, I don't really notice it, but then when you do it, it really like grinds my gears. It doesn't affect me, so I do it loads, I just move my feet around. Anyway, <laughs> board. Lids on, we've got them in, we've got that on, we've got a piranha nut in there, but it's, which is also fly lead across, that's why we've got a double one over on here. Really happy, really secure. There's a lot more stuff to add to this, so we're not gonna be putting any CT1 in and around this for now, because there is more stuff to run in in the future. It's all tested, it's all happy. This has been Waygoed, because these are these sockets that are down here, and we haven't tested these yet. While we've still got the tester out, we're gonna do an IR on that, but it's we can literally just follow exactly where they go. Um, we're gonna get some measurements for this, for the uh, down lights. I don't know how many down lights. One, two, three, four, five, six, set, add the seven down lights in here. So what I've been doing recently for measurements to make myself, make my life a little bit easier for myself, what we're doing is I'm going around with the tape measure while Adam's filming me on his phone. He'll send it to me, but the locational services is turned on here, so I know that this job is exactly that. And we can measure it from, from the brick and then say add 25 mil for dab and plasterboard, that sort of stuff. Um, in a minute, mate, can you just get some Wago boxes? Because there's single insulation hanging yeah, off of there. The are they Wagos or are they the fake Wagos? Uh, you know, the no, G Pro. Like, you know, the G Pro ones. Yeah. You can get them a bit screw fix now. So we're going to do this. Um, I've just spoke to the customer as well, and I can let you know how much the builder was going to charge the customer for fitting, I don't even know if it was a split load board. Well, it was an RC, I presume it's an RCB above the price. Let's get this tidied up, we'll get the label printer out and then I'll let you know, costings wise, but mental. We're done, not. we are done. Well, I don't know what time it is. About four, we've been chatting for an hour, haven't we? Yeah, talking to the customer, running through everything. So the price, it's not, it's 20 to five. It's a long board change really, for how quick we normally are, but we didn't really start till nine. Is that different? Oh. 
Oh, you didn't say it though, so no. you're right. <laughs> so we had to go and get some stuff uh, for the job. Um, happy how it went. Uh, we've got the rest of the stuff for us to do now. Uh, we've checked the cables in the office, but it was dead simple because we could see everything. We've got a downlight plan uh, as of what for the downlights, so we're happy with that. There's an extractor fan to go in there at some point. The old electrician was going to put one in, so we need to figure that out. And um, the price the builder was charging on top, so there was a separate quote or itemated, uh, itemized on the original quote, that's £1,100 plus VAT to change that board over. And the customer said he was getting the stuff from Screwfix. So I'm charging him £850 plus the VAT. <laughs> I'm not saying so as in I'm going to charge that because I can. It's a 20-way board. It's the miniature RCBOs from Verso. Uh, we've got more electrics to do there. We've upgraded the tails. We've upgraded the uh, main earth. The, we're coming to do a lightning rewire upstairs at some point. Uh, we're going to run some feeds up. Like they want, he's asked me now to run all the cables for the solar and the battery storage that we're going up in the loft as and when to prep that. And then he's got another builder coming in to start boarding all the walls out. So there'll be video and all that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll put the link down below for green cable. Go and check that out. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye. Bye.